how I made this frilly Victorian chemise. From the 1880s to early 1900s, this style of chemise with a square front neckline and gently sloped armholes trimmed with lace was sold by retailers like H. O'Neill's and R. H. Macy. I used the drafting instructions in the Manual of Needlework and Cutting Out by Agnes Walker, published in 1907. I removed some width and length from the draft to better suit my size. I used the trapezoid cutout of the front neckline to create a yoke decorated with pin tucks. A piece of eyelet lace, one and a half times longer than the top of the yoke, was gathered and attached wrong sides together to the yoke. The exposed seam was covered with a bias strip that I embellished with double feather stitch embroidery. The back neckline was tightly gathered and eyelet lace was attached wrong sides together to the entire neckline and armholes. These seams were covered with bias strips and embroidered. Check out my blog for a link to the pattern book and more details.